Hi, today I would like to talk about how to use measuring spoons and cups to measure ingredients in your cooking. Often in a recipe like this one, you can see the measurements of ingredients like 100 gram of butter, 75 gram of sugar, and sometimes you will see things like two tablespoons of golden syrup. Hmm. How much is two tablespoons? Is it just any spoon in our kitchen? Here is a set of measuring spoons. People use measuring spoons and cups to measure ingredients for cooking. The biggest spoon in a set of measuring spoons is the tablespoon. It measures 15 ml. In Chinese, it's something ho sing. One tablespoon can also be written as one TBSP with a big T or one T, a capital letter T in the recipe. In this set of measuring spoons, there's also a half tablespoon available which measures 7.5 ml. Next, we have a teaspoon. A teaspoon measures 5 ml, which is a third of the size of a tablespoon. In the recipe, usually a teaspoon is written as one TSP with a little t, or one T, the lowercase t. There are also other measuring spoons with a smaller size, which is half teaspoon, a quarter teaspoon, and one eighth of a teaspoon available. These are for measuring things that you need very little, for example, salt, pepper, like that. Next, we are going to talk about measuring cups. This is a measuring cup for wet ingredients like oil, water, milk, like that. On the measuring cup, you can see uh, measurements in cups, in ounce, which is the fluid ounce in the US system, and also in mLs which is the metric system, subjun zai ho sing. Here you can see that one cup is approximately 250 milliliter ml, or about eight ounce in the US system. For dry ingredients like flour, sugar, we can use this kind of measuring cups. Here, a one cup measuring cup gives 250 milliliter of ingredients. There are also different sizes of other measuring cups. You can have half cups, a third of a cup, a quarter cup, or even two thirds and three quarter cups. Now, you know how to measure ingredients for cooking. Happy cooking!